Hi everyone, it's uh, Steve aka Nix Intel. Um, I'm just going to do a short video tutorial here um, in relation to one of this week's uh, quiz time challenges that was posted uh, just yesterday in fact the 20th of August. Um, it was a, just the usual sort of uh, quiz time photo geolocation quiz. Um, if you're not used to following quiz time on Twitter you really should because um, those guys are really, really good um, at helping people brush up on their open source investigation skills and their photo verification skills. Uh, you can learn how to search for things and verify things. Uh, and it's useful uh, either if you're just doing this sort of thing for fun or if it's the sort of thing that you do for a living. Uh, if you work in journalism or in law enforcement, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, this was um, I'll, this was Mark's tweet that he put out yesterday. Uh, I'm going to go through and show you how I did it, uh, how I found the solution for this one. Um, it wasn't too tricky um, in the end, but I'll show you how I did it and a couple of other ways that you might have been able to find the answer. Um, so okay, here we go. So the first thing that Mark asked was, um, he says, Hi, quiz time. Um, for Tuesday quiz, I've been to a European capital. And the first thing Mark wants to know is what city was that in picture number one and which hotel did he stay in? Um, so he's really asking for two different things here, uh, the city and the hotel. Now I wrote a post uh, a few weeks ago about how when you start these sort of challenges or, or any investigation really, you want to work from big to small. So at the outset uh, we want to start with a really big pool of possible answers. Uh, and then work through all the possible cities uh, and all the possible hotels until we find the exact city and the exact hotel where Mark was staying. Uh, it sounds kind of daunting, but actually there's, Mark's given us quite a bit of information that will help us narrow things down pretty quickly. So the first thing Mark tells us is that this is uh, a European capital city. Now, I checked on Google beforehand and there are a total of, I think, about 51 capital cities in Europe. So we've only got, I say only, but we've only got 51 cities to work through. So uh, there's loads of different ways uh, that we're going to be able to narrow this down. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, so first of all, this is, uh, although this is four separate photos, uh, Mark has put them all together in one huge image. Uh, so you can't just point this into Google image search or Yandex and look at it all to find, um, to find your answer because this one image is just four stuck together. Um, so what do we need to do? Well, uh, there's a few different ways we can approach this. The first photo to focus on um, is to find the city. Uh, remember what I said about we need to work from um, big to small, from general to particular. That means we need to work from the city first and then find the hotel. If you try and do that the other way around, it's just going to cause us all kinds of problems. Um, so we're going to forget about the other three interior pictures of the hotel and we're just going to look at the first picture, which is this one up here. Um, so how can you do this? Well, there's two kind of different ways you could approach an image like this. The first one is to um, do kind of a text based search, uh, which I'll show it's not very successful um, approach for this kind of image. Uh, and I'll show you why in just a second. And that is a text based approach or keyword based approach would be where you take some of the features in the photo like a green spire on this church or building that looks like a church. It's made of red brick, stone wall, trees, that kind of thing. And you can throw those keywords together to try and find an image that matches. For some kind of pictures and for some kinds of open source work that works really, really well. And that's the best approach, especially when there's a, a large amount of searchable detail. Uh, but that's not going to work for this because the detail is uh, is not specific enough. I'll show you what I mean. If I um, fire up Google, uh, and we'll do, I don't know, search for church plus red brick plus green spire. Let's see what kind of images that brings up. Here we go. So by looking for, searching for those keywords, church and red brick and green spire, it's brought up loads and loads and loads of very, very similar looking churches to the one in the photograph. Um, maybe one of them is the right church, I don't know. But the point is there are seemingly hundreds and hundreds of churches uh, all across Europe that look like this. 
uh, and figuring out which one is the right one is going to take a really, really long time. Um, and it's just not a very practical way to do things. It's going to take you so long that you'll probably lose interest in doing it. Um, so searching by keyword for an image like this is not very good because there are thousands of possible matches for it. Uh, so just let's go back to the image. So what we can do instead of searching by keyword uh, is another kind of search uh, which relies on visual similarity. Sometimes that is the best approach and that's what's going to work in this case. Um, so we're going to do a reverse image search with Yandex and with Google on this photo. Uh, but it presents a couple of problems. Firstly, in this particular case, the way Mark has put it together, the all the images are one. So we're going to have to do some cropping. Uh, and crop out all these hotel pictures and just focus on the uh, the picture of the church itself. The tool I'm going to use to do this is a really, really great reverse image tool called Search by Image, which um, it does a lot of stuff, but it um, works in your browser to your crop and search in your browser so you don't have to use any of the built-in snipping tools um, in, that you have in Windows or, or in Linux, for example. Um, you can just do it directly in the browser and it makes things an awful lot uh, quicker. Um, <clears throat> but the problem with this photo um, is that a lot of the actual photo is taken up by information that is not useful. Uh, what do I mean by information that's not useful? Well, if you want to be accurate with a reverse image search, then the more detail that is in the picture, the better. Uh, things that are generic don't really um, don't find matches very easily so um, we're going to focus on the detail I'll show you what I mean so for example probably I guess maybe 25 percent of this photo is just taken up with a gray sky um, which isn't going to help us too much the bottom sort of I guess 15 20 percent of the photo is taken up with a stone wall and a few trees and some grass Again, by themselves, uh, those things are quite generic and an awful lot of pictures are going to have grey sky, uh, stone walls and um, green hills in them. So it might work, it might not, but what I'm going to do to give me the best chance of success with this picture <clears throat> is to just focus on this detail here, which is the spire. Uh, with, it's got the green spire and a red brick roof and windows, uh, and we'll just focus on that and see what we come up with. So I uh, posted about search by image um, on my last video a couple of months ago and I've written about it on my blog too um, and those posts and that video will show you how to use it but it just sits in my toolbar up here. Uh, <clears throat> choose the option I want this time which is I want to capture a particular part of an image so I'll choose capture and then I'll choose all search engines in fact um, so we'll look at Google, Bing, Yandex, Baidu and Tinai which are the default search engines in this little extension um, we'll choose all search engines and then all I do is select the area they want to reverse image search and just try to get a little bit more detail in it but I'm see I'm leaving out some of the grey sky some of the stone wall because um, that may or may not help us but we'll just focus on the detail I'm ready we'll click search and then that should file up fire up a load of browser tabs as you search through each one and look what we got here already, already. Uh, Google image search um, is good for some kind of searches but for direct image matches is actually not always as good in fact hardly ever as good as Yandex but you see here it's telling us it thinks this building um, is linked to the word Helsinki uh, and there's a lot of possible matches there it throws up some what, uh, visually similar images so we'll have a look at those it's clearly not this white cathedral here, um, but see what else is in there. Um, yeah, it's quite a few similar matches in there. And then suddenly here we have uh, this photo, which looks bears an uncanny resemblance um, to the one that Mark is actually asking us to look for. So there we've got the partly obscured large building with a red brick and the green roof there, and then the detail we actually searched on, which is the small red brick tower with the green spire on the right of the photo and if we compare that to the one we've just found here see it's a pretty good match for that spire there even the stone wall and the green fence and even the grey sky in the background uh, is exactly the same and what this tells us here is that this is the Uspensky Cathedral in Helsinki so we're happy at this point that we've found the place we're looking for which uh, is Helsinki 
So we work from the start, we've worked from our European capitals uh, with the reverse image search on the first picture. We're going to be happy now that this is in Helsinki. So already, of the, remember I said at the start, there were 51 European capitals or thereabouts. Uh, we've now eliminated all of those by one to find the right one. Uh, and so now we've moved from the big pool of possible answers to a very small pool of possible answers. So we've got with our right city. So the next part of what we'll do, um, we'll be looking at um, finding the right hotel. Now we've found the right city. Uh, just before I um, move on to the next part, Bing um, <laughs> didn't work for us this time. Um, Yandex, uh, which is generally better than Google, uh, actually, for these kind of um, the challenges, didn't um, didn't do so well this time around. Again, it's found a lot of very, very similar images. Uh, and nine times out of 10, I would always bet on Yandex to find the right building ahead of Google. Uh, but it didn't. You can see why it's come up with some of these images. Uh, but none of them are the right match uh, for the one we found. Uh, Baidu, again, um, very, very similar images, uh, but none that are, uh, are the right match. And Tinai um, is just doing its thing. OK, uh, so that's the end of that. And now we have found where um, our building is, the Uspensky Cathedral in Helsinki. Um, we're going to move on and look at uh, trying to find the right hotel. OK, so um, we have found Helsinki. Uh, so we don't need to worry about picture number one now. Uh, we've now got these other three pictures here to work with to try and find the hotel that Mark was staying in. Um, and I spoke earlier in the video about the difference between keyword searches and visually similar searches. Um, we're going to find we're going to use a slightly different approach here um, because these three images present us with a few problems. Um, if you do a keyword search, for example, um, I'll just show you here. So if I search for hotel rooms in Helsinki and we'll look for what sort of images come up. Um, this pro comes up with the, uh, the same kind of problem that we found at the start, which are that there are in Helsinki alone, there are probably hundreds of hotels which all look really, really similar. Uh, and OK, I could perhaps have fine-tuned my keywords a little bit, but the principle is the same, um, that there are loads and loads and loads and loads of hotels in Helsinki. And what am I actually looking for anyway? Well, um, I'm looking for these sort of yellow, grey and white pillow combination. But how do I know that every room in the hotel is the same? How up to date are these images that Google is bringing back? Um, there, it's kind of generic and what am I what I'm trying to get at is if you went down the keyword route search with this photo um, you are gonna take a really really long time to try and find to work from big to small to fine-tune the details um, to find a match um, you know and these are just the first few hundred images that uh, Google has thrown up you could take a very long time another way to do it which is just as inefficient would be to Google for a list of all the hotels in Finland, uh, sorry, in Helsinki, uh, and work through them at their websites one at a time to find a picture, a gallery image, or something that match. But Google's telling us there are 231 hotels in Helsinki. So again, doing anything like that is going to take you such an awfully long time uh, that it's not really worth it. Uh, but there is a much better way to do this. So we're not going to um, keyword search uh, on either this image up here uh, and the bathroom image as well it, it, it's just too generic um, they all look the same it could be any hotel anywhere um, we know it's in Helsinki but beyond that there's nothing in either this bottom picture or in this top picture here which is really going to help us uh, and the reason why that is is because as I said before uh, when you're looking at images uh, you need distinctive um, particular details uh, if you're going to find a match for anything um, so that's why I'm going to discount this image and this image. But um, the best way for us to solve this is to find a match of this image. And why is that? Um, but that's because this really um, interesting wallpaper um, is really, really distinctive. Compare the wallpaper there to the wallpaper here or the, wall, or the uh, walls in here. It's really, really distinctive. Um, it stands out. And that is probably um, going to be the best way of searching for anything. 
Um, I didn't actually try a reverse image search with this um, with this picture. I started with a keyword search, and the reason being it's so so kind of distinctive way of um, of, of decorating a room. Um, because we know it's in Helsinki, we could look for um, sort of Helsinki hotel artwork uh, and do that. So that's exactly what I did. In fact, here's what I saved earlier. Um, in fact, let's do the search again from scratch. So we know we're in Helsinki. If I can spell it today, Helsinki hotel plus art wallpaper. And this is an image search, from, remember not keyword search. And there we go, already in the very first um, load of return images, uh, we find this. Uh, we find this image, and if you look at this wallpaper here with a sort of funny black tree, you know, all the different patterns, um, that matches pretty much uh, with what we've got there in Mark's photo. Uh, the other distinctive thing we want to look for when we're corroborating this is the um, disgusting yellow chair. Uh, but each to their own. So here we go. Uh, this is the Hotel Indigo wallpaper by Linda Linko. Let's click on it and see what else we can find out. There you go. This is um, the website agentpecker.com. Um, and the artist in this particular case is a lady called Linda Linko. And this, um, you can see from the URL here, is called the Hotel Indigo wallpaper. There we are. Um, so she has told us herself um, where it is. Just click minimize this. See, this is Linda Linko's um, webpage. Loads of different kind of work that she's done. Um, I'm just going to Control F here to find the word indigo. There we go. Hotel indigo wallpaper. And we go even one better here. Here is the wallpaper that we just found um, in a room in Hotel Indigo. So I'll just pop um, Mark's photos back here again. So now our pillows, we've got yellow, grey and white pillows. Let's check. There we go. We've got yellow, grey and white pillows there. We've got one of those um, distinctive yellow chairs, just like we have got here. And we've got the TV on the wall, um, with, yeah, almost with the desk underneath. This chair is the same. Well, this, this might not be the exact room that Mark took the photo in. It's uh, very, very similar. Um, so now this is telling us it's a Hotel Indigo. So we'll just go and check out, um, just by way of sort of final verification, uh, that this is Hotel Indigo in Helsinki. So Hotel Indigo Helsinki, here we go. Um, now we're looking here for, there we go, Hotel Indigo Helsinki Boulevard. There we are. This is uh, either the same or similar room um, to the one in the last picture. We've got the same pillows again. We've got the same wallpaper, same desk, same TV. We can't see the yellow chair in this one, um, but we'd be more than happy that this is the same place that Mark is staying in. Uh, so yeah, that uh, just about covers everything off on this one. Uh, we started at the beginning. All we knew was the European capital. We use reverse image search uh, on this distinctive building to confirm it's Helsinki. And then once we knew we were working only within the boundaries of Helsinki, we can um, we narrowed it down a little bit further and ignore the bland sort of generic images uh, that aren't distinctive enough, focusing on the one that has a lot of detail. Uh, and then that enabled us to find that the answer is Helsinki and it's the Hotel Indigo. Um, so yeah. Um, I hope you stuck with me to this point to find the solution. Um, if you don't, if you're interested in open source investigation and uh, geolocation, um, I've written quite a few articles like this on my blog, which you can find at nixintel.info. Um, I've done a, a video in the past as well on a similar sort of technique, uh, and I really recommend if you use Twitter that you follow uh, Quiz Time. They post quizzes like this every day. Uh, gives you a really good chance to practice uh, your open source investigation skills uh, and there's some really good people in that community and uh, I've learned a lot from them uh, and also um, please give me a follow on Twitter as well I'm not on YouTube so much um, but if you follow me uh, with at Nick's Intel um, then it'd be great to hear from you and if you learned anything or think there's anything I could have done different um, it'd be really great to hear from you thanks for watching